Hey, Victor with Prudential California here, and today we're going to talk about the secrets of real estate investors and why, in my opinion, some investors do so much better than others. Now, the general consensus is a real estate investor is somebody who buys properties below market value, fixes them up really quickly, puts them back on the market, and is hoping for a quick sale and a large profit. That's what we call an R&R investor rehab and resale investments. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. There's always a market for it as long as the property is purchased correctly at the right price. But what about the long-term investor, the people who are in it for the long haul retirement? What about the person who buys property at market value, holds it and creates cash flow through monthly rental income, then sells the property right before they retire or when they feel the market has peaked? Majority of people, when they hear the term investment, they think of the traditional vehicle, you know, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, money market accounts, savings accounts, CDs, things like that. Now, if you're familiar with the traditional investment vehicles, you're probably familiar with Morningstar. Morningstar.com is the highest rated research firm for all mutual funds, equity, stocks, bonds, and CDs. Morningstar.com just released some information and they showed the average rate of return between 2000 and 2010. For bonds, if you would have invested money in 2000 and 2010, your average rate of return was 4.46. If you would have invested in six month CDs, your average rate of return according to Morningstar would be 3.32%. If you invested in mutual funds, your average rate of return throughout the 2000 and 2010 decade would be 3.66%. And we know in mutual funds, you have equity stocks that pay you dividends. The average dividend between 2000 and 2010 was 1.82%. The Department of Urban Development, HUD, they released some information. They stated if you invested $100,000 into the S&P 500 in the year 2000, by the end of 2010, your initial $100,000 investment would now be worth $69,020 negative appreciation of 30.08%, $30,000 wiped out. Now, HUD also said, if you invested your initial $100,000 in the year 2000 into real property, by the end of 2010, even with the bad years, your initial $100,000 investment would now be worth 207855 an appreciation of 100.8%. Now, what I'm telling you is the investors who I know never look for property and appreciation. They look for property where they can cash flow on a monthly basis. If you get you know, $100 cash flow a month on your property, that's better than any rate of return on a stock, on a dividend or anything else like that you can get depending on your price point. But the idea is when you buy properties, you buy, you hold, you rent, you cash flow off, and you sell when the time is right. It's a long-term game. If you're interested in real estate investing or a consultation with myself, please contact me at victorforhomes.com. Thank you very much. Talk to you next time.